This is an object rotating purely about its first principal axis, having the least rotational inertia. Suppose the axis of rotation were to change, then inevitably the effective inertia would be higher and if angular momentum must be conserved, the velocity would be lower. Yet such a transition isn't possible, because the other quantity that is conserved, kinetic energy, happens to scale differently. So, as seen from the 3D body, there is no way for its other principal velocity components to take a non-zero value. You'll find the same for a pure rotation about the third principal axis, but instead, for a rotation about the intermediate or any other axis, you'll still find infinite combinations of the three components that satisfy both laws of conservation. In particular, these representations are ellipsoids and their intersection comprises the cyclic path of principal velocities that the object is destined to follow.